Today I'm going to be doing a test cutting on a piece of 6-in-1 style chain mail. These are 5 8 outside diameter links, 6-in-1 based on the European style. I will be cutting it using a ditch bank axe because this is uh, one of the sharpest axes I have and it has a, a narrow blade profile so if it does cut in it should cut in pretty well. And hopefully I didn't screw up my axe blade too badly. Looks like some mix. And the mail has been shirred even though this is a, a very tough cut or a tough weed. And as is visible by the cut along here, it is actually driven links into the cut of the wood. In retrospect, I should have included padding to simulate how it would respond more realistically to a person, but my point is a fairly decent cut with a sharp weapon can shear mail a bit. And there's a close-up view. As much as I hate redoing the test after already having done a cut on the mail, and don't, not liking having to put more nicks in my axe, this time I'm putting two inches of closed cell foam behind it, putting leather on the bottom. Leather will simulate cutting skin, the foam padding will be an attempt to simulate the way a person's body would give, a person would move with the impact. So, testing again. <laughs> ah, more damage to the mail. A couple links have been split. But, Since the body moved, I guess you could say, uh, the foam padding has been damaged, it's had links driven into it, it's split a bit, so it would definitely hurt, but this being where the cut was made, it looks like it would have done nothing more than drive broken links into the person. So, as far as uh, surviving a very hard cut with a sword or axe, the male does very well. Against the pierce, it would do nothing.